Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about how to set up universal forwarding in Kali Linux. Okay, why we are using the universal forwarder? For example, if you are deploy, if you deploy any uh, web application or server in your Linux, it will help to monitor the logs. Okay, let's see how to deploy the universal forwarder in Kali Linux and how to forward the logs from the Linux to Splunk ok in here I am using the VMware for my Linux I have already set up the forwarding I am just demonstrating the works how it works how to set up ok let's see how to set up First you have to configure the port number which will be situated at the settings forwarding and receiving receive data to receive data configure this instance to receive data forwarded from other instances here I am using other instances as the Linux to receive from that instance I have configured the receive port click here to add the new port here ok for example 9997 just click on 9997 and click on save that's it and here you can see configure and receive and click here here I am already using the 9997 port to receive the data from my Linux ok let's see how to install the universal forwarder in Linux first you have to go to the Splunk downloads here you can see Splunk universal forwarder you can see total three types of tools here cloud Splunk cloud and Splunk enterprise and Splunk universal forwarder In here click the Linux and scroll down I am using the 64 bit I need this file ok you manual you can manually download in the Linux within the website or you can copy the link ok copy the link wget link ok copy just come to the Linux here you can paste it when you click enter it will download that here you can see 85 and 18 MB right yeah. now you have to unzip that file to unzip that file you can use this command ok when you unzip these are the files in that file ok scroll down ok now you have to go through this folder like opt splunk forwarder and bin you have to go through this forwarder bin where you can access this splunk from anywhere of your system like this this splunk forwarder is situated in that particular folder so we go through that folder and access it here you can see how to start it Splunk start accept the license ok first we have to accept the license and next we have to enable the boot start user as Sahan but currently I am running this uh, like Splunk in my Linux so I no need to boot it if you want to boot it just go to first folder or exit this like running already running file and again you can boot it ok what we have to do next after the booting let's forward the logs to this IP address in here you can able to see 997 is a port number we have configured it 
okay after hitting the enter it will ask you for the username and password before it will ask for this when you start accepting the license it will ask the username and the password you have to remember the username and password after setting the forward server what is this ip okay go through the cmd if you type ip config you can find this if you type the ip config you can find your ip address below here here yes wireless lan adapter i am using wifi right so that's why it is showing this is the ip address this is where we need to send the logs from the linux this is the port number it will ask for you the username and password just give it now you have to give the admin and password name what is the admin name and password well, let's see in this command you need to give the this is the command splunk add monitor auth here i am giving my details such as username and password this is my username this is my password and this is the where some of the linux system have the log situated and some of them is here where log so find your system where the logs is situated and then you come again with the log folder so if you hit the splunk add forwarding server as my ip address with the port number 2997 it will send these where logs to this server okay let's see it is working or not go to settings click on this go to search and reporting okay let's see let's see the data summary here you can see right kali linux this is the host kali and this is the source in here you can see the where log readme alternative log history log term boot logs config logs okay these are all types of sources from the linux system so this is how you can configure with universal forwarder from one instance to another instance if you like this video like share and subscribe